Okay, for this one we have secant. Notice our vertical shifts out front. We're shifting up two units. And we have an amplitude of five sixths. So we're gonna go up to two and five sixths. And down to one and one sixth. Okay, our period here, we determine by taking 2 pi divided by 1 half, which equals 2 pi times 2 over 1, which is 4 pi. So we're going to have our period be 4 pi. Means half a period is 2 pi, a quarter of a period is pi. And this should be a pi over 2 two down here. We're shifting right by a quarter of a period. All right, so secant, it's probably easier to remember that secant's one over cosine. If we graph our cosine graph, we can then graph the secant graph. We know cosine starts at the top, but we're shifting right by a quarter of a period, so we want to start up here. And we would have a min half a period later. Then we get a similar scenario on the left hand side. A min half a period later and the max is half a period after that. In between our mins and maxes are where we end up with those vertical asymptotes. And now we have enough to sketch secant. And there we go. Let's try one more, or two more. Yeah, just two more. Here we're looking with cosecant. Remember, cosecant's one over sine. And see, we have a vertical shift of negative 4. I'm going to put us down here. An amplitude of 3. That will bring us up to negative 1 and down to negative 7. So here's our vertical shift. Here's our amplitude. Our period, here it is. We're going to take 2 pi, divide by 5 pi over 4, which is the same as 2 pi times 4 over 5 pi. Pi is cancel. We're left with 8 over 5. So we have a period of 8 fifths. That is not a pretty number. Okay. Well, 8 fifths is approximately, well, it is 1 and 3 fifths, which is going to be 1.6. Which gives us, let's see. Here it's a little tricky because we also need to shift left by one unit. Let's see, we're going to have 1.6. Which gives us 0 0.8, 0 0.4, 1.2, and then we got negative 0.4, negative 0.8, and out here, this is a negative 1. Okay, we're shifting left by one unit. So sine usually starts on our baseline, gives us a good place to begin.